Beautiful Monday. I started cleaning my tools. I know there's some right here because I've been working on this thing. I've got the axles in it, cool lines, everything all taken care of pretty much. Um, transmission fluid and oil are in the uh, oil filters on it. I need to burp the coolant and fill that up, but this thing is right there. Spark plugs away from being able to fire it up and burp the coolant. Everything's plugged in, everything's full, everything's ready. I need to plug the ECU in inside the car. It is unplugged, but I already made sure it's got power and everything, and it is set to jet. So I'm real pumped. The K-Series is right there. Jordan's motor's looking really good. Mario's, I, uh, I've been scouring. I have not been able to find my old twin disc yet. I've been looking high and low in the back shop, in the box trucks, everywhere I can. I don't, I don't know where I put it. But that's what he needs, so I'm going to keep trying to find that. Hopefully I do. If not, we'll just wait until the ones that are back order come in. But let's keep on moving. So we got some plugs in there. We'll go ahead and tighten them all up. And be set to jet. coils and then I think I can start burping the system it's exciting Go ahead and grab my bolts out of the bolt bin, take care of all that, and let's get this thing burp. All right, dudes, the good finally showed up. The cap is here, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. Technically, we don't need to because there's no fluids in it, but at least then we'll know where the cap is. Uh, hopefully this, uh, yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it right, I'm doing it right. I'm just... Perfect, that thing looks really good. I'm stoked, so just a little overflow tank, and then I need to build the breather and, and breather lines, the catch pan so we don't oil down the track, and let's go. Oh yeah. All right, so I got the K-Series all done, burped, and I pulled it out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just double check the valve lash, make sure everything's good there, and that thing's gonna be set to go home. Whew, pretty awesome. CRX is super close. Jordan came by with a little battery tray today, so we just gotta tie that thing down and then make sure the battery's secure. The battery tray, once it's tied down to the weight plate, is not gonna go anywhere. And then we just need to build this little battery tie down right here. So he just kinda had this piece already made and brought it, and then he built this today. So this fits around the battery perfectly. We're gonna put some little tabs off of it and then just 12s or something bolted on. How about that? Got the H series all set up and the headsets came in for the B. We're gonna get this thing set together. Woo. All right, so I got the headsets all in there looking really good. This thing's gonna come together super, super simple. Now that these are here, heads right over here in this cart. Just go ahead and pull it out. Put it all back together, you know, the rockers and everything back in it all in this bag. Super simple and then Torque it down and time it up. All right, the head is not torqued down. It is just on there. We had a little LSV Tech conundrum. So I have a LSV Tech, you know, B18, you know, LSV Tech head gasket. And he has, I have a spare right here, so I'm showing you because I was trying to compare mine to his. I have, he has these LSV Tech dowels. He's same kind right here but they wouldn't go through with the gasket. So 
I had to work all that up, get it to where I could put the head on, torque it down. So head's on now, I'm gonna do the washers, torque it down, and then we'll get on to the rockers and all that stuff. Heck yeah, Eric's hiding around the corner. We got another one stacked, torqued down, cams are all nice and tight. Got the belt on there, nice and tight. Tensioner's all tightened up. So things are coming along really, really well. This one's an LSV Tech, GSR head. We're gonna go ahead and pick up another B-Series from the machine shop tomorrow and drop off an H. H is gonna get decked. And then the B-Series I'm gonna to assemble tomorrow. I'm gonna to get the last little bits on this one and send it home. Pretty pumped. Just knocking them out, man. Jordans and Mario's are looking really good. Mario has a clutch on the way. I wasn't able to find my flywheel. I'm pretty bummed, but I was not able to find that. And then Jordans, clutch master said, go ahead and send it. So we're gonna go ahead and send it with his, start finishing everything up. Um, we're gonna get the tensioner, put the uh, timing cover and all that stuff on it, put the clutch on it, put the trans on it and get it in the car probably either this weekend or <clears throat> probably either this weekend or right after the race next weekend. So I'm pretty excited for all these to get done and out of here. I have just been on it, you know, knocking these suckers out as much as I can, as fast as I can, making sure everything's just perfect, clean and tight. All right guys, so I've got the engine hoist all ready. Not gonna quite go ahead and take this off just yet. We've got to go ahead and valve lash it and get the valve cover on it, seal this thing up, and then we're gonna take it off. And I believe it's ready to go home at that point. Um, I'm gonna throw an oil filter on it to make sure it's just completely sealed. But then we got the block back from the machine shop today. Nice deck, super, super clean. Looks freaking amazing. I know, I put a box on it, but it's fine. It's just a box, everybody. But Still gorgeous all the way. I love what the machine shocker does. They do some great work. But go ahead, valve lash this thing, button it up, take it off. I don't have the engine mount or the timing cover or that little stuff. He's got all that, so I don't have to worry about that stuff. Makes life a lot easier. Just get this thing clean, tight, and uh, ready to go. So. All lashed up. Time to seal it and send it. We did eight and 10, 10 on the exhaust, eight on the intake. It's a good lash, nice. Not too tight, not too loose. Whew. All right, so I got the other B-Series all on the stand now. That one's over there, bagged up. Clean, nice, tight valve lash, valve covers on it. So I just need a bunch of oil filters and I'll get that one sealed completely. Get Jordan sealed and Mario sealed. So I got all the bearings in there, crank in there, main studs going in, washers on there, all nice and lubed up. And I just need to put some ARP molly on the nuts and then get them going in. You put the ARP molly on the threads and on the base here so it torques and seats nice. You don't want them to be crackling and while you're tightening it up. So let's do this. All right, so I got the main studs, everything all torqued up. Looking really good, spins really good still. It's always a great sign. It's never good if you torque the mains down and it stops spinning. It means you over torqued, your torque wrench might not be set right. Something's wrong, always gotta check that. <laughs> all right, got the front main and timing gear and all that on there. Spinning around, you know, temperature, water pump, rear mains all on there. Everything's coming together really well. I'm about to start throwing the pistons in. Got the cap off of number one. About to start dropping them in here. I'm excited. Use the new tool again. The Use the ring compressor again. It's fun slamming them in there, getting this thing done. Just got, got, got. You know how it is. I'm pumped. I'm freaking pumped, guys. I am freaking pumped. Super excited. Need to throw the GoPro on the charger, but I'm gonna grab some sugar, get some energy, and uh, we'll be right back with you, hopefully with some pistons in there. All right, so this turbo right here is off of the Bully. This is a Borg Warner S369, I believe. So it's the same thing as what he used to have on here, but it's got a billet wheel and it's ball bearing, so it's updated. Whereas he's got the old S372 journal bearing cast wheel old style turbo up on there we used to have that on here before and it it lagged quite a bit i mean it spooled it made boost we made 530 on on 16 pounds i believe but this should make 530 
maybe on the same 16 pounds but we should be making boost a little bit before with the ball bearing and everything i mean we got the 2-2 here so it is a ripper screams screams horsepower so pretty excited for more both mario and jordan the short block here though i got the pistons all and rods all in it torqued down spins really good liking it a lot just barely 24 spins it you know just pushing with my finger it ain't hurting my finger or nothing it's awesome this is really awesome so spin it back around to tdc right about there show sure you guys pistons number one is right up so that's how you, why you, uh, you see guys sometimes they'll stick a wire in the spark plug hole in number one and they'll feel for this to come up because you see I go a little bit past and that starts to go down or one tooth pass. See? Go back. Right up top. Perfect. So go ahead and finish all the little stuff. Button all this back up into it and get this thing assembled and back to its home. These guys are excited. They're itching to race PSCA with the rest of us. I don't think they've been out to a race yet and they are stoked. So I'm gonna get this thing ready so they can come hang out and party with their group. It's awesome, I'm pumped. So I'm coming to you guys with a little tip real quick because a lot of you guys don't even know this, but most twin disc flywheels, like 99% of them for a B series require you to run D series flywheel bolts these ones the dots see how that's a dot in the middle this is a factory flywheel bolt 23 for a b series but a lot of guys will tell you not to run the arp flywheel bolts arp even though they are exactly what you need for a twin disc so if you can't find single cam flywheel bolts the dots the ones from arp they're like 60 bucks we'll get get what you need done see how they're see how the 23 is longer it does not tighten down on the flywheel you there is i don't know what it is but there is a slight issue with their measurements and it just takes the dot bolt instead of the 23 i'm gonna tell you what h series clutches i've put together a couple twin discs and the 23s are long enough for an h series Jordan's H series had 23s in it and they were tight. They bottomed out. You stick them through the flywheel. You don't see any gap of spacing. It's just all threads sticking out the bottom of the flywheel. So that's what you want to see. But I'm getting back to this B series now. Sorry guys, I got a little bit distracted over there in the dyno bay with the sweet cars that are here for grid life. Justin Kelly and Tiffany Kelly have some really nice rides. Really like what they got going on. But I think I'm gonna swing down to Grid Life this weekend. I'm pretty excited for that. Hopefully taking a little break, I'll still have enough time to get the Rex finished. I think so. It's not too much left, but it is some stuff. Either way, we're gonna kick ass. We're gonna get everything as much as we can done. We're gonna get out there for you guys. I'm pretty excited. I'm super excited, honestly. We've been building B-Series like nobody's business. We've been building A-Series like nobody's business. I'm pretty pumped though for everything we got going on. I'm really excited to have all of our cars super, super close to being rolling and going. You know, we got Gordo, his will fire up if we went out there and turned it on right now. Jordan's is literally right there and built. Mine, if I wired the starter and the fuel pump back up, would fire up. I'm just really excited that we're all this close. It's been so long for literally all of us. Gordo's has been in and out, on and off. Mine has been just a battle from the beginning. And Jordan's, he's got, he got to take it out and have a little glory rip once. And then we had an injector fail on us, which the injector actually looks really, really dirty. We haven't had Jamie, we haven't had the time for Jamie to put them in the machine and clean them yet. But just looking at it, looking at the bottom of it, the tip, where the fuel comes out is like black compared to the one next to it. It looks silver still, you know, it looks still primo. So 
it's definitely what caused our our lean out and the piston to melt which is no good it's terrible but jordan's gonna have a smaller faster spool and turbo on there now hopefully we're out there ripping i'm excited that's actually not the turbo he's gonna end with that is a 69 millimeter whereas we will end with a 67 he's got a pulsar on the way that jamie ordered him up but we're not sure when it'll be here no it's not the same 67 i've got it's just a basic 67 i think it's the same thing that's on his neon right now so he's got one of those on the way for jordan so we can get that guy in the street class and have a lot of fun him and mario are going to be ripping i'm pumped for them both we're gonna have two preludes in the street so we'll get them in the sport compact class i'm pretty pumped we're gonna have him and mario both ripping in the spark we're gonna have him and mario two preludes both ripping in the sport compact class it's pretty awesome the uh psea class just now got changed to the sport compact class so we have the pro class and the sport compact class which is really awesome i hope to see all of you guys out there that watch my stuff and if you got a honda even if you don't and you just are there to watch i hope to see you there i'm pretty pumped and uh it's gonna be an awesome weekend it's gonna be awesome a couple of weeks we got icc grid life and psca all the next three weekends in a row so we are gonna be just going a million miles an hour you guys even if we don't want to be we're gonna be going that fast because we got to so i'm gonna finish getting this b-series together get it off the stand and we're gonna get my keys as h up on the stand and then we'll have three h's on the stand which is gonna be it's gonna be crazy jordan's and uh mario's will probably be off this weekend once their clutches well jordan's clutch is here but once mario's clutch comes in we'll be able to take his off and get it back to him i got the head all torqued on man does that car on the dyno sound good that's a j series guys Woo! sounds so clean i like it a lot guys i'm actually like itching to go look at it but i've already watched a few polls and we got to get this b-series done so we are cranking away almost there little things left you know just all this buttoning up water tube all the brackets get the cams back in it time it valve lash it send it on its way i just torqued the head down it's got clean gsr head aftermarket lost motions and springs and retainers this is a nice build i like it a lot guys listen to this car man just listen to it if you want to watch the video of the polls go over to my dad's channel check that out I can feel the hot air coming from underneath the door. <laughs> that thing is so sick. So, we are knocking them out over here though. Brett's is up next. Brett's and Mike Hughes. And then, yeah, so I've got, I'm down to four. I got Brett's, Mike Hughes, Jay's, and Keith's old block. So, two H's, a B, and a D. We are knocking them out of the park, getting things done. I'm really excited. There's a few little bits here and there that I still got to do. Like I said, once uh, Mario's clutch gets here, we'll take his off. We'll get the clutch on it and get that back to him. We're waiting on a tensioner for Jordan's. We already have the clutch and everything here it's in this box. This is Jordan's little box. So I got to get the clutch on this one, trans on this one, get it in the car. But I'm going to wait to get the tensioner first so I can do the timing right here and then put it in the car. We'll probably do this this coming weekend or right after the the uh the raises but both of them are coming along really really nice i sealed up both of their um oil coolers mario's looked like it was dripping a little bit so sealed them both up cleaned everything up got everything nice and tight torqued good i am you can see i'm not using my nice digital torque wrench because i think it's off i was torquing some stuff on jordan's motor and uh after i torqued it the crank couldn't spin so I loosened everything up. I went and grabbed Jamie's torque wrench, torqued it all back to the same numbers. Everything spun great. So I think my torque wrench is off. I'm gonna leave it off to the side till the tool truck guy shows up, have him check it out, calibrate it if he can. Um, it is digital, so I don't know if he'll be able to recalibrate it or if he'll have to just change me out. But 
we'll get it all taken care of because man i love that torque wrench so we're gonna get that stuff figured out and we'll keep knocking these things out uh he should be tomorrow here tomorrow either way we're gonna keep going this thing's at tdc right there i think it's about time i put the cams in this thing and then yeah so i'm gonna clean all these clean all the journals up and stuff from the arp molly because you want this lubed up but you don't want an arp molly lubed up so get all the arp molly out of these journals get some oil in here some lube and then let's roll i'm pumped man this is really exciting stuff super super cool getting to build these engines with you guys knock them out Whew, there's so much to do so little time but also but so much time at the same time you know what i mean man ah it's terrible like i have all this time and all these things to do and i'm like tacking them going at them and then i'm out of time but i'm like i had all that time where to go what, what was i doing you know i slack no i'm not i'm never slacking but not not keeping up with what i want to be I'm pumped though. These are looking really, really good. Woo! H's, baby. Turbos. Let's look at this train. Jordan was worried this might be different now, but I don't think it's gonna be different. Looks like it needs a little bit of a clocking. Yeah, it's gonna need a little bit of a clocking. Somewhere similar like this, something like this. Something like that. Yeah, it should be fine. It's a little uphill it looks like right now, but we'll see once it's all in the car. The motor does tilt back, not tilt forward like this. So I think it'll all be downhill and it'll be nice and perfect. I'm stoked! Woo! Yeah! But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this, this B-Series. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe down below. This is Google, and peace out, guys. Woo! Listen to it. Yeah! All right, peace out, guys. <laughs>